Hi, my name is Randy Ray, and this is DNA Assurance. Cisco DNA Center is a massively powerful collection of tools that allows you to design, deploy, optimize, and troubleshoot your entire network in an intuitive way from a single window. Cisco DNA Assurance is one of those tools. It turns your network devices into sensors and then uses artificial intelligence to make sense out of all this data. DNA Assurance shows you the health of your network and goes one step beyond providing actionable intelligence by recommending specific actions to remediate issues and gives you the ability to take those actions directly from the Assurance dashboard. In this quick overview, I'll show you how to identify and respond to top issues, how to troubleshoot client issues, and how to assess application health. So if we go to our Assurance dashboard, here we can see we have uh, an overall health score for our network devices, wired and wireless clients. You could drill down into either of those. We're going to focus on the top issues. And so we have some priority one issues here. And I'm going to click into interface connecting network devices is down. In this page, we can see that there's one instance of this issue that's been reported 63 times. We can see where it's, uh, the device is located, what the device name is, device type, when the issue last occurred. We click on this example of the issue we get a description of the issue as well as suggested actions. We arrive at these suggested actions by linking DNA Center with our TAC database. We have received and documented thousands of instances of common issues along with how the issue was resolved. We could use that historical information combined with real-time data from your network to offer suggestions that have been proven to solve this issue a large percentage of the time. So not only does DNA offer suggested actions that you could take, but you could take them and run those commands directly from the dashboard. So simply click on run and it's going to run a show interface command and it will assess the information it's getting back to see if there's any relevant information there. Uh, if that doesn't solve the problem, then we have another command that we could run here um, and so on and so forth. Uh, and it will take you all through all the different actions that you could take to address this issue. And of course, if none of those address the problem, you can always open a TAC case and all that information is right here for you. So it makes the whole troubleshooting process very simple. Another common issue that's really difficult to troubleshoot is layer two um, loop issues. And so if we click on this one here, we could see that one of the VLANs is having a host flap. Um, if we click on that, we get a, a detail of the problem here. Um, it seems like there's a spanning tree loop of some kind. If we click on root cause analysis, we could run machine reasoning uh, so that it's going to investigate what's going on in all those uh, afflicted devices. And we can see that there's a loop detected on VLAN 31. Uh, and if we scroll down, we have a suggested, uh, suggested action, which is to shut down one of the ports that's involved. Um, so that's just another example of how kind of quick and, and intuitive this could be for resolving some of these issues. Uh, next I want, thing I want to show you is client health. So when we go to dashboards here, um, we have network health, client health, and application health, and we're going to go to client health. So this is going to give you an overview of all the clients on your network. Um, you can see an overview of client health on your network, overview of onboarding times, as well as a bunch of other information. Uh, you could search and filter for any type of device that you want to uh, filter for. We have tons of different filters up here uh, to get to the relevant devices. And then some more charts down here, and you could dive into any one of these that you want to. Um, a lot of times what happens is we get a call or an email or a trouble ticket, however we try to respond to issues in our organization. Um, and usually it's something like I'm having trouble connecting to the network and there's not a whole lot of other information. And so if you get a call, so say you have a teacher named Grace um, who's having this issue, uh, instead of you know interviewing her and stopping her workday and taking a time from your workday, um, you know you can you can just go in and see what's going on with all of Grace's devices. Uh, anyone who's ever tried to troubleshoot an issue like that before knows that people are just really bad at remembering and providing useful information. And having to, it's just a big uh, disruption to everybody's day when we're trying to figure this stuff out. Um, you know, because we, we get this trouble ticket, we don't know which device she's having issues with. She might not even remember. We don't know where she was, where she was trying to connect to, what she was trying to do. Uh, so here, when we go to her client 360 page, which is going to give us all the granular information, everything that DNA Center knows about this client, um, we can see immediately that she's having some issues with her iPad. It uh, looks like there was a period of time where she was having trouble 
onboarding her device, we could see, uh, you know, which SSID she's trying to connect to, which access point, um, which channel, which band, um, some other relevant information there. So we can, you know, click into the AP from here if we want to and see the device 360 view and, and learn everything that we know about that device. Or uh, we could just look at our issues down here. So it looks like um, this issue right here, this onboarding issue, uh, is what we're witnessing up there on that line and kind of correlates to the issue that was described in the, our imaginary trouble ticket or email. Uh, so clicking on that, and that's going to take us to the same uh, type of page that we were just looking at before where we have a problem description and then we have suggested actions that we could take to resolve the issue. The last thing I want to show you is going to be application help. So I'm going to go to health, application health. So from this screen, we could see all the applications in use on the network along with their associated health scores. Um, we can see that uh, we have a couple applications with pretty low health scores, something that we might want to look into. So we can click on Microsoft Office 365 and just see what's going on with Microsoft Office 365. Looks like people are having some type of issue accessing that application. So we can see here just kind of by this timeline that application health is low, the network latency is super high, packet loss is uh, significant, um, the application quality is pretty low. Um, there's no issues reported specifically with this uh, application, but we can see that it was observed, this uh, issue was observed on this edge router. So we can open, click this radio button and get some more detailed information here about throughput, latency, jitter, packet loss. We could also see which clients are being affected by this issue. Um, and from here, if we want, we can go back and click on this device and that will take us uh, to the device 360. So now we're getting to the granular information, everything that we know about this actual device. Um, lots of uh, different information that we could look at here, um, but we do see we have a couple of P1 issues that we have to attend to. And then we're back to that same troubleshooting process of diving into each of these, seeing what the problem description is and going through the suggested actions to remediate those issues. I hope this has been uh, useful for getting uh, just a quick glance at DNA Assurance. Um, and thank you for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.